This is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, and it would be fabulous if you subscribed. It's easy. Click the subscribe button, and at the same time, click the like button too. It's been clarified somewhat by authorities in the UK that a 17-year-old Thai survivor of the infamous cave rescue in Chiang Mai province back in 2018 was discovered unresponsive in his dormitory in Leicester, the UK, where he went to study last year. The former Thai kids team captain, Dom, was unconscious when rushed by medics at the weekend to a hospital where, despite all efforts, he passed away on Tuesday. The actual cause of his passing is unclear, with unconfirmed reports that at some point previously he'd sustained a head injury and post-mortem is due to be carried out before he's returned here to his family in Thailand for cremation. He and 12 other teenagers, along with their coach, hit the headlines in 2018 when they wandered into a cave only to be trapped by raising flood water, which saw a multinational squad rescue them safely. The new so-called landing tax intended to boost funds covering those tourists who have accidents here but don't bother to buy travel insurance, 300 baht for arrivees here, may have been given the go-ahead by the cabinet this week, but implementation is another matter with arrival slips done away with last year to speed up immigration clearance and reduce waiting times, the new tax can't simply be applied to ticket prices unless those to whom it doesn't apply, that's all Thai nationals, diplomats and those working legally here with work permits, would subsequently have to queue for a refund. And that, well, it would be a nightmare. Collecting cash in bars and other currencies at the passport checking booths would be impossible too. And travellers along with airlines await full details of just how the fee can be efficiently collected, with many stating that it would be far better to insist on all arrivees having to show proof of travel insurance when they buy their tickets. Better cover for them and less hassle at this end for sure. Thailand's Met Office has warned that seasonal storms can be expected between now and the weekend across 50 provinces from the north to the central regions. Rainfall is common at this time of year, despite the season being named the dry season. And as always, the storms are, when they hit, intense. Bangkok saw flooding yesterday, and our own region saw heavy rainfall. Temperatures will drop for the next few days too. A welcome respite, but drivers are warned to take extra care, as many road services haven't seen rain for weeks. And so a build-up of grime will create a muddy and slippery surface. And for the Gulf... An urge of caution to all boat operators as waves of over three metres are predicted. The Pollution Control Department has this week praised its own campaigns for a downturn in plastic waste, such as single plastic used bags, to the tune of an average of 47,000 tonnes a year over the past three years. That downturn, though, may well be due to outlets having insisted that customers buy reusable shopping bags. But in the past year or so, many have returned to using the free ones, or worse, charging for them. Plastic bag use may be down, but they're certainly still to be seen everywhere across the country, sadly, reaching nature, riverbanks and even beaches. Normally most don't worry too much about drug users, but a warning has been issued to meth addicts to watch out for orange pills hitting the market. Why? Well, when 300,000 of them were seized on the riverbanks of the Mekong, subsequent testing showed that they'd been cut and manufactured with a pesticide, which is listed as potentially fatal to humans. Meanwhile at home, in response to our latest radio competition for listeners, has been amazing this week, with a record number of replies from you, both in written and recorded form. Prize winners are named today in the morning show, but to all who entered, many, many thanks. Padia's Railway Road is seeing more and more surface damage appearing with shoddy repairs to a sink area at the bottom of the ramp down from the motorway road. And the left lane towards Satter Heap is often avoided even by motorbikes, wherever possible, due to potholes and more. Making matters worse, street lighting from the motorway to Siam Country Club Road hasn't worked for weeks either, making it even more dangerous. And it's best to take extra care until finally repaired. And businesses locally who are looking for visibility or wish to support local organisations are reminded that now is the time to register for a float in the 2023 St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Pattaya. Search Facebook for details, but with your company name or logo amid an expected thronging crowd of onlookers, it's a great way to get your name out there and, at the same time, help local fundraisers. And with the Met Office promising highs today of just 26 degrees, dropping down to 21, a cloudy and overcast day with a very good chance of rain at some time. 
Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.